All right, start the winterization. What we're going to do is uh, drain our water heater. Uh, on this particular model, we have a suburban water heater. So this is going to be an inch and a sixteenth socket, which we have here. Anytime dealing with the water heater, always relieve your pressure first, okay? See that pressure, Scott? You don't just want to drain it because you got all that pressure on the end rod kind of push out on out towards you. So we're gonna release our pressure. Once the pressure is released, grab your socket, and we're gonna remove it. Sometimes it can be a little hard, but it comes, comes out pretty easy. All right. That's gonna drain out. While it's draining that, we're going to go to our fresh tank. All right, our fresh tank is probably located near the axle. And it is. Other side, we have a half inch water line as a drain over there right in front of that tire. The cap is already off, so that tells us our, our fresh tank is drained, okay? Next, what we're going to do is we're going to start blowing out our system. Um, we regulate the air to 35 psi just so we don't blow up any plumbing lines any faucets showers toilets stuff like that and you're going to screw this fitting in here right into our city inlet um, obviously there's ones with valve stems too but this one kind of speeds things up a little bit so we're just going to turn that on and you're going to see all that air blow up the water heater all right once that starts to trickle down, we can go ahead and find our water heater bypass, which is going to be part of here. And I think we're going to have to put this bed in to get that. have a pretty standard three valve bypass you could have one valve two valve or three valve this one happens just to have a three valve all right so what we're going to do is we're going to turn our cold line that going in the water heater off turn our hot valve off and open up our intermediate valve which is back in here all right what that does is just instead of circulating the air through the water heater it now circulates through the hot and hot and cold lines by closing the valves that goes to the water heater and the intermediate valve okay now we can go ahead and put it back out and um, blow out the hot and cold lines you know? all right so now we can go ahead and operate our hot and cold One at a time, doesn't matter what we Once you see the mix, you can shut it off, open up the other side. Oh, something kinked. pressure all right we have an airlock in our system now what we want to do is find the water pump now it'll just probably be on the other side probably so 
inside here we got our winterized kit. We have our water pump in here. We have our our plumbing lines that siphon from our fresh tank right in here. That goes down through the floor to the fresh tank. And this is what the winteriz winterization kit is. Anytime you have a T that piggybacks off the original hose that siphons water from your fresh tank with a valve, that's gonna redirect the pump flow and what the pump siphonating. So we're just gonna turn that valve here and we're gonna get our own hose connected to this line here and dip it in some antifreeze and get the pump rolling, all right? So here we got our hose and we're just connecting. All this does is increase the length of the hose where we can actually use it to siphon the antifreeze. Um, if you do not have a winterization kit, you would just remove the intake of the pump side, which is usually on the filter side, half inch, 90 degree fitting, and make your own hose up with a used garden hose and uh, your Sure flow, flow jet fitting from your parts department or any fitting you have laying around, all right? So we got our antifreeze ready. We're gonna hit our pump switch. That's then now gonna siphon. Pump is running, build some pressure up. And we're gonna go through the exact same process of what we did to blow out the system. All right, so we see our pump got primed up there. We're now going to operate our system just how we did. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna push a little bit of the water out and then it's gonna follow up with the antifreeze, okay? Once you see that solid pink come through here through the faucet, hard to see with the sun, you know this side of that fixture is good. We're gonna repeat this process for the other side, all right? So we got a little clear there, now we got straight pink, all right? And this and this is a non-toxic antifreeze we got using here. Um, we're gonna shower. A little bit of water and you got some antifreeze coming out. Antifreeze is gonna obviously winterize the plumbing, the fixture, and the the drains and the P-traps as well. Alright. If you have a much larger uh, camper, obviously you have the black and gray tanks that so this is gonna run down through your plumbing and dilute all, all your all your water and everything else down there, alright? Do our other side. Alright. Pretty much, then we'll get a gallon of antifreeze. All right, we got ourselves some antifreeze here. We're just going to dilute all this. We could take up almost two gallons. up a gallon in here and see if we can pump it through. Alright, gotta hit that switch over there. There we go, so now we got our antifreeze rolling. So all we did was fill the cassette up with antifreeze, roughly about a gallon, but you might need a little bit more. And wait till this clear tube kind of fills up a little bit and then uh, operate your pump, alright? Next, we're going to go outside. Same process. All we're going to do is run this to, you see pink. You just see pink there. Shut that off. Wiper diaper. Same with Water our dipper. hot side. All right.
run a little bit of antifreeze with the hooked up back into our water heater. So we're gonna put all our valves back to normal. Open up our cold, open up our hot, and close off our intermediate, okay? I'm gonna put that anti-rod back in there so it holds the antifreeze, dilute the rest of the water that's in the water heater. Out the, the city valve. You're gonna note we blew the water out of our check valve, but just to double check, you push that in, you see antifreeze got through the check valve there, all right? So once we uh, put our valves back to normal on our, uh, our water heater bypass, we're just gonna come in here, turn the pump off, which we just did, and we are going to remove our hose. We're gonna put our cap back on it. And we're gonna put this valve back to normal over here. All right, so that's all ready to go for next year in case you want to dry camp. But it's always nice to have this winterization kit on here so it saves you a little time. All right. All right, I'm just gonna put a baggie over the faucet so nothing leaks. Take my spray, spray out all that excess, and wipe it out. So back there. Well, good to go.